Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Portly Gamer coming at you like Cleopatra and today I am going to start possibly, maybe, hopefully, could be a series, uh, another visual novel type uh, thing. I have tried to play one in the past uh, for a let's play and that was a game called Never Give Up uh, and I gave up on that one. So <laughs> um, due to popular demand, uh, I've been asked to, or requested to start a series of a new, or another, rather, uh, visual novel. So I'm playing this one, Long Live the Queen. Uh, I don't know much about it. I heard a bit about it a long time ago. This game is actually kind of old. Um, but I'm here to play it for your enjoyment. This game is playing a piano version of My Country Tis of Thee in the background for some reason, and it's just on a loop. All right, so let's just go ahead and jump right into this and see how it goes. <laughs> Lord help us. Okay. Jocelyn, King Dowager, Duke of Calaris. Duke of Calories, I thought it said for a second there. But almost home. Your room is just the way you left it. Dot, dot, dot. I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends, but I've arranged the best possible tutors for every subject. You'll have to work hard this year to prepare yourself before your 15th birthday, but I know you can do it. You'll learn quickly and you'll make a wonderful queen. It's what your mother would have wanted. Except she's dead, probably, from the sounds of that. This is not what mother would have wanted. <laughs> Just look at her face. Tell me that voice doesn't fit. This is not what mother would have wanted. She wouldn't have wanted to die and leave me. See, I told you. Dead. No, she wouldn't. But sometimes bad things happen. We have to pick up and carry on. All of Nova depends on us. On you. Uh. <laughs> I will be here to guide you until your coronation. But the decisions you make are ultimately up to you. Come, your maids are waiting. Welcome to Long Live the Queen. If this is your first time playing, you should read this brief introduction on how the game works. Tell me more. You will be controlling Elodie, the most, or the almost Queen of Nova, as she tries to prepare for her coronation. To do that, she needs to take classes every week in order to raise her skills. The skills she learns will provide different choices in the ongoing plot. Learning the right skills can mean the difference between life and death. Oh, there's death in this game? Holy smokes. Who would want to who would want to kill that? Look at that, that little face, innocent face with the eyes almost as big as her face. You also need to keep an eye on Elodie's mood. With her mother's tragic death, Elodie is not very happy right now. Are you kidding me? Look at her. She's thrilled. The mood button will take you to the emotions screen for more details. Oh, I gotta like manage her well-being. Elodie is feeling both afraid and depressed, but her strongest emotion is depressed. If she becomes more cheerful to cancel out the depression, her strongest emotion would then be afraid. Elodie's current mood affects her ability to learn. It will give her a bonus to some skills and a penalty to others. Let's take a look at this skill screen now. Oh my gosh, this is like a D&D character sheet probably. I've never actually played D&D, but oh my gosh. Skills are broken into four main categories. Social, physical, intellectual, and mystical. Inside these categories are skill sets, groups of three related skills. You start with a zero in all skills. Doesn't seem complicated at all. I mean, okay, you've got four, you've got four bunches of, of skills, and then each skill has, I mean, each, each category has all these skills, and then each has three stats to itself. I hope this is complicated. This is not a visual novel. This is something deeper. Every week, Elodie can study two skills. Normally, she earns two points in a skill for every weekday that she studies. So, if she studies history, she will earn two points times five days. 
equaling 10 points. Because Elodie is depressed, she has a minus two penalty to the social skill set com conversation. Oh, okay, up here. Uh, if she studies conversation, she will earn two points minus two points per day. That is zero points. Well, that's not good. We better get that depression up to cheerful. However, she has a plus one bonus to the expression skill set. Here. So if she studies one of the expression skills, she will earn two plus one points per day, which means three points per day, 15 points for the week. Okay, that's starting to make a little bit of sense. Maybe it's not going to be as complicated as it looks. If you study a skill you have a penalty for, you could be wasting your time and not learning anything. If you study a skill you have bonuses for, you will learn much faster than normal. All of these bonuses and penalties will change when Elodie's mood changes. She can also gain bonuses to skills by studying related skills. Check the skills screen every week to see your current bonuses. Once you know your mood, skills, bonuses, and penalties, you are ready to choose your classes for the week. Cool, what's this now? The classes screen breaks down to breaks down skill sets by category for your morning and evening classes. When you select a skill set, the three options in that skill in that set will appear on the right side of the screen. Okay. Oh. Choose a class option for both morning and evening classes, then click on the Done button, which will appear in the lower right corner. As you play through the story, you will sometimes see feedback bubbles appearing over the text. These tell you what's happening behind the scenes. Bubbles like these will show you when Elodie's mood is being altered by events. Bubbles like these will show you when the story is changing based on what skills Elodie has learned so far. If the test fails, there is some option being missed because she didn't have enough points in that skill yet. This feedback is very helpful in figuring out options to try. If you don't want to see it, you can turn the bubbles off in the preferences menu. Now get ready to become a queen. I was born ready. Cheer up little one. Turn that frown upside down. Is something happening? Oh, am I am I playing the game now? <laughs> Okay, so she's got a plus one in animal handling and a plus one in expression, but she's lower on these. Everything else is normal. So let's pick, take a look at her mood. Up, up, everything up. Can I just do that? Like a slider? She's fine in that. All right, let's pick some classes. Um, okay. So let's just start off with expression. And for her evening class. Huh. Let's let's go with history. Oh, you have to like choose. Oh. Okay, so we have decoration, which is drawing, painting, arranging flowers, dressing well. Skill with musical instruments such as the harp or flute and the skill of singing beautifully. Let's go with instrument. And then for history, Novan history, which is notable events and locations within this domain. Foreign affairs, notable events and relationships between the domain and its neighbors. World history, long-term information about the world in general. I have a feeling that this is all important, like for her being queen and whatnot, she'll have to know about her country, but also know about other countries so she knows what's, what's the, what the deal is with them. Let's go with Novan History just to start out, and click Done. You tap out, timing dyads on the glockenspiel, learning the basics of harmony and rhythm. Cool, so I got 15 points for that. Afternoon, you read about the history of your domain- wait, afternoon or evening? It's, that's there's a difference between afternoon and evening. What's all that noise out? <clears throat> Sorry, forgot about her voice. What's all that noise outside? Who's there? Oh, it's my cousins and my aunt and uncle. This is probably a different voice, but I feel it's easier on my voice and more fitting. And my aunt and uncle. 
darling, we're so terribly sorry to hear about your mother, Fidelia. Thank you. <laughs> you look well, niece. Hi, Lodi. <laughs> <clears throat> that didn't come out quite. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Hi, Lodi. Hi, Lottie. I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Yep. Mummy said we're here all month. Maybe we'll have some time to talk later. Now that you've finished studying, what will you do for the weekend? Uh, so I can attend court, talk to father. Huh. Plus one depressed. Hmm. So I guess there's just different things that she can do that will affect her. Let's play with toys. Let's let's cheer her up a bit. You spend the weekend holed up alone in your room with your favorite toys. It's childish, but you feel a bit better. Okay, I guess that's supposed to be better from depressed. But... Oh, this stuff's going down. Oh, snap. So, okay. If, so, stuff, I guess, drops if you don't bring it. So, if you bring up other stuff... Huh. Uh, maybe I wasn't paying attention and I chose an option that would lower things. Um, but yeah, now she just looks horrified. Um, so her faith is increased and her agility. So let's go. I have dogs barking in the background as usual. So forgive me if you hear that. I'm just going to move on with it. Um, so let's look around her faith. Meditation, no. Uh, finding and maintaining your own inner peace. <laughs> okay. Uh, divination. Interpreting signs from nature of what the future might hold. Please. Magical history of no... Let's just go with meditation. Um, and then what was the other one that was up there? I think it was athletics. Running. Ability to move swiftly and surely across land. Climbing scaling ropes, rocks, and walls. Swimming, endurance, and speed when crossing water. Let's go with running. Just get a good jog done. Get that out of the way. You practice walking at a brisk but comfortable pace for a set length of time every day. You practice assuming a sitting position that allows you to be relaxed and tranquil without being so relaxed that you are likely to fall asleep. What's that commotion outside? Father, what's going on? F father Okay, Juliana, Duchess of Ursul. I've come to pay my respects in honor of your mother. Oh wait, this is supposed to be her dad? I thought it was like her brother. This dude's like 18. <laughs> he must have like had her when he was I don't know. 10? 7? You have no respect or honor. It's because of you and your powers that my wife is dead. What? I am a Lumen, as was she. And like every Lumen, I am willing to give my life, if necessary, to protect our domain. Your line has been... Tra... Your line has been traitors for 200 years. I won't have you corrupting my daughter. That is for the Crown Princess to decide. I can't... I'm having, just like, just like with Never Give Up, I'm having trouble for remembering whose voices are what. Elodie, your mother trusted me, and I have much to teach you. Hmm. Let's let her stay. Let's, let's, let's see what's going on with Lady Blue. I want to hear what she has to say. She stays. As you wish. Okay, so let's... Huh. Let's visit her. What is it you wanted to teach me? First, I need to know if you have your mother's crystal. Her stash? Test lore failed. What crystal? <clears throat> what crystal? The source of power for any lumen is a particular magical crystal. Once you've bonded with it, 
it becomes a part of you as long as you live. The royal crystal has been passed down from ruler to ruler for generations. It belongs to you now, except that the king may be keeping it from you. Do you have a crystal? Of course. She, whoa. she holds out her hands, light flickers above her bosom, and then with a shower of sparkles, something takes shape. You reach out to touch it above her bosom, and it dissolves away into nothing. Oh. It belongs to me. No one can take it from me until I die. Got it, so murder you then. You need to find the crystal that belongs to you. Then why... Okay, if it belongs to her, then why is it taken from her? Hmm, okay. Boy, her mood is hard to balance. Um... Uh, okay. Let's... Hmm... So we'll keep going with... Oh, it was agility. Okay, so we'll work on her agility and her history. Was it history that I failed? Crap. Okay, well, we'll, we'll keep at history. Um, and it was her agility. So we go with dance, which knowing the steps and carrying them out with grace. Reflexes, the ability to respond quickly to surprises. And flexibility, the ability to stretch and come and contort without pain. I know, okay, when, spoilers, one thing I do know about this game is that people will try to, well, there's like attempts on your life because you're the queen or whatever. So I feel like reflexes is a good thing to work on in case somebody tries to attack me later. I can be like, what the, and take them out. So, done with that. Your teacher walks around you, prodding a finger at you slowly in order to train you in blocking those touches without triggering fear or faster breathing. Nova's history involves an endless slew of names and dates. Even as small, as small as it's become, there are ten dukedoms. Ten dukedoms. No, eleven now. Plus the royal line. Okay, the narrator's not even sure. Plus the royal line. You hope no one expects you to memorize every lineage. Or every dukedom. He loves me. He loves me not. <clears throat> they gotta do higher, higher up there. Lottie, do you have a boyfriend? Not really. I just like to play with the flowers. All of a sudden, the Duchess of Ursul rushes into the garden and points a sword at you. Uh-oh. Not at you. At your feet? Princess, don't move! Hold still. You want to hold still, but you don't have the composure to hold your position without peeking. You look down where her sword is pointing. There's a snake in the grass! You can't help it. You squeak and jump back. The snake tenses and prepares to strike. No! Your cousin pushes you aside, and the snake's fangs sink into her leg. A lottie. Too late. Juliana swings her sword and cuts off the snake's head. Uh, what was her voice? Oh, what is going on out here? Your daughter's been bitten by a milk viper. They're poisonous. Get an herbalist right away. Oh, I will treat my daughter. I certainly can't trust anyone here to keep her safe. I'm sorry. I don't feel good. We will be returning home to Merva immediately. Your aunt has a point. Milk vipers are not native to this area. That snake should never have been here. Aha, aha, see, somebody's a, somebody's coming after me. Coming after old Lottie. Or, no, Elodie. Someone may have tried to kill you. Will Charlotte be okay? I don't know. Um. Visit the tomb. Huh. Huh. Um. Okay, well, let's... Huh. Let's talk to Father and see what that does. That's probably shouldn't have done that. It's probably going to be a skill check that I... Uh, probably going to fail. Dad, what happened to Mom's Lumen Crystal? It's in a safe place. A lot of these voices are the same. I, I'm not good with voices. You, you got what you got. Can I have it? 
No, but it's mine. Meddling with magic killed your mother. I don't want that to happen to you. Once you're crowned queen, I can't stop you from doing anything you want. But for now, you are still a child. Burn, sick burn, yo. Look at that burn on that face. Okay, um, let's take a look at her mood. So this is up here, but these are not working out too well. We really need to get those up, so... Maybe there's an outfit? Okay, that was the only outfit. Okay, classes. Well, let's, okay, let's take a look at her skills. Intrigue is negative right now. Moral demeanor. I could work on her reflexes again. Reflexes. There was something... Composure. But she's still, like, lo low negative on the demeanor thing. Ugh. Okay, so we'll, we'll go... Go with agility and we'll continue faith. I want to work on the stuff that has bonuses. Um, faith. Uh, let's just do more meditation, I guess. You practice a, with a jump rope to incre increase the speed of your footwork. I can't read. You practice solo tennis, hitting a ball against the wall repeatedly in order to train your hand and your eye to react. You may now play sports on weekends. You close your eyes and relax every muscle of your body, in turn letting that feeling travel down through you from head from your head to your fingertips and toes. You take slow, deep breaths, letting that air move through your body, filling it give you life and energy. All right. The castle seems quiet. <clears throat> Sorry, the castle will seem. The castle. Oh my gosh. Learn to read. <laughs> The castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery and Zahra, Zahra and their parents gone. I don't even think I met Emery and Zahra. Anyway. It's certainly not empty, though. It seems like we get more servants every day. I was worried about Charlotte after that snake bit her. But her mother... Uh-oh. But her, mother's, her mother said she's okay. So I guess it turned out all right. You don't get enough time. I mean, you only get two classes a week. And then stuff happens between those classes. Unless there's like a new game plus where stuff carries over after this, you fail like a lot of the skill checks early on. Maybe she has a guardian angel. Okay. Um, uh, Let's see. What happens if I play sports? I saw that somewhere. Plus one angry, but minus a lonely. I need to make her cheerful. Hmm. Let's walk in the gardens. A walk in the fresh air helps you forget the burdens on your shoulders. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to save it right here, and then we will pick up on the next episode. Um, I actually don't want to do this weekly. So... I am going to do my best to upload a few episodes of this at a time, well, within a week, and then continue it if you guys like it. So for now, this has been the first episode of Long Live the Queen. It's actually kind of interesting, so I'm going to keep playing uh, for you guys for now. And that's it. Peace out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, feel free to check out one of these other videos you see here on the screen. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me by looking up The Portly Gamer on the social networks below.